the chromium glitter has gone. Hunks of tortured metal, once recognizable as shiny showroom models, are stripped of pride and polish as flames eat away the upholstered comfort and leave a smoldering heap of scrap. Scrap. There's a worthless sound about the name which suggests it's just a waste of time to litter a few acres of good green land with mountains of metal. That's not true, of course, because men have made millions in this business and are still doing so today. Over a hundred cars a day are smashed beyond repair on Britain's roads, and there's gold in them their fingers. Scrapyards, like this one at Walton Cross, salvage any worthwhile parts before providing a final crunch in true James Bond style. You can't afford to be sentimental over that old jalopy, although there is some consolation in knowing that scrap metal is sent back to the steelworks and probably goes into making new cars. If that doesn't satisfy you, then follow the example of one Frenchman who makes a living out of pressing family saloons into 18-inch cubes and selling them back to owners as drawing room ornaments. Journey's end, yet it all...